Welcome or welcome back on Cisco. In this video clip, we're going to talk about multiplying radical expression and we're going to look to how multiply, I call them, binomial. In other words, we have a irrational number that have a real part, let's say like that, and a irrational part. Okay, so how do we multiply things like number 13? You're going to use what we call FOIL. So we're going to have 2 times 5, right? First. Two, two times, and let's put parentheses, two times three square root of two, okay, let's not forget the minus, outer, right? Then we have uh, three square root of two times five, okay? And again, the sign is gonna be plus inner. And we have last, right? Uh, which are three square root of two, times 3 square root of 2, okay, and the sign will be minus, right? Uh, so this is for 4. And let's do the simplification now. We have 2 times 5, that is 10, minus 2 times 3 is 6, 6 square root of 2, plus uh, 3 times 5, 15, 15 square root of 2, and uh, the last term, be careful on that one, we have 3 times 3, that is 9, and square root of 2 times square root of 2, that is 2. So, we have here 10 minus, in fact, plus, right? Negative 6 plus 15, that is plus 9, plus 9 square root of 2. And here we have minus 18. The last step, 10 minus 18, negative 8, plus 8, 9 square root of 2. Uh, okay. That is the final answer for this problem. So again, first outer inner last foil method will work here uh, very well. Uh, pause if the clip and try number 14. If you have this answer, then you did a wonderful job. You see, uh, uh, my uh, move a little bit faster. Um, if you need to go slow, go slow. What about these two problems? Uh, let's take a look to number 15. At this number 15, we have 2 cubic root of 3 minus 3, I'm sorry, 2 square root of 3 minus 3 square root of 2 square. Uh, that means multiply this quantity this expression by itself twice so yeah you may want to write this step and then use foil so we have two square root of three times two square root of three that will be four and square root of three times square root of three is three so four times three will be 12. what about uh, the next guy we have this two square root of three times 3 square root of 2. 2 times 3 is 6. And square root of 3 times square root of 2 it's also square root of 6. And the sign is negative, minus. <sighs> Let's multiply these two. Yeah, we have again 3 square root of 2 times uh, 2 square root of 3. 3 times 2 is 6. And square root of 2 times square root of 3 is square root of 6. Okay, and again the sign is minus. Uh, and we have the last two terms, 3 square root of 2 times 3 square root of 2, that is going to be 9, 3 times 3, 9 square root of 2 times square root of 2, 2, 9 times 2, 18, the sign is going to be plus. Okay, so the final answer will be here, 12 plus 18, that will be 30, minus 12 square root of 6. Okay, of course, here you may want to use also, this shortcut a minus b squared equals a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. It does work. You may want to try this on number 16. Pause this video clip and try number 16.
if you have this answer for number 16, then you did a wonderful job. And you see, I use this uh, perfect square formula uh, just for you to see it in case you want to use this as a shortcut. Right, let's take a look at these two example and maybe you notice something here we have 5 minus 2 square root of 7 and 5 plus 2 square root of 7 okay and these guys are called conjugate conjugate and you see that right here if you conjugate they differ by a sign yeah one has a plus one has a minus okay so we can use foil here which i'm gonna do it and we have 25, right? 5 times 5 plus 10 square root of 7, right? 5 times 2 square root of 7 minus 10 square root of 7. And then we have the last 2, which gives us 2 square root of 7 times 2 square root of 7. That will be uh, 4, 4 times 7, 28, right? So what do you notice here? Right? Whenever you have conjugate uh, irrational number, the irrational number cancel out. So you have 25 minus 28, which is negative 3. Yes, the product of two conjugate irrational number is a rational number. In fact, we do have a shortcut. Okay, which gives us a square minus b. In fact, this is not really the, the formula we use, but this is the idea. We have a, a difference, right? a minus b, a plus b, right? Of square. We have a difference of square here as a pattern. So uh, you may want to think about using that method. Pause this little clip to find number 18. If you end up with this answer for number 18, you did a wonderful job. And you see here, I use the shortcut I, I mentioned, the difference of square. Yeah, square the first uh, irrational number in this case in your problem. Square the second irrational number in this problem. And uh, you're going to get two rational number. And obviously the difference, yeah, so difference here will be always a, a rational number. Eh? Don't forget, in some problem like 17, you can have a rational number on the first part of the conjugate number. If you enjoyed this uh, mad video clip, don't forget to click the like button down right and come back and subscribe for more mad video clips. Thank you.